Romans 10 and 9 says, And if thou shalt confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and believe with your heart that God has raised him from the dead, then thou shalt be saved. Romans 10 and 9. If you don't know Christ as your personal Savior, then receive him into your life today. He wants to redeem you from all sin, for we were all born from Adam. Adam is all of our father. I don't care what color you are, what race you are, how tall, how short, how fat, how skinny. Adam is our father. And when Adam sinned, it pulled the whole human race into sin. And we have got to get out this sin. Yes, Jesus, hallelujah, came. God sent his son, Jesus, to pull us out of what Adam had pulled us into. Won't you accept his redemption today? Just simply open your mouth and say, Jesus, come into my life and do something amazing with it. I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus Christ. And I believe that God has raised him from the dead. And saints, brothers, sisters, watch. God will come into your life and he will do something amazing with it. Give your life to Christ today. Good evening, good evening, everyone. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. You are listening to Reaching the Masses Media Ministry Nightly Prayer. And I am your host, Evangelist Portia McIver. I'm coming to you tonight from Romans 6, chapter 6, verse 23. And it reads as thus, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Now, I don't know about y'all, but that's good news. Hallelujah. Because, see, I'm not a sinner. I've been saved, sealed, and redeemed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God took the wages of sin. Hallelujah. And all I had to do was accept him. Ask him to come into my life. Hallelujah. And obey his word. And I don't have to worry anymore about the wages of sin. I don't worry about sin. Not sin cautious. Because I don't worry. I don't want nothing to do with sin. Oh, I couldn't say that a couple of years back. Let's say about four years back, maybe five years back. Couldn't say that then. But that was because, hallelujah, as I told you, I had been hurt. And when hurt comes, we have a habit of reveling and and just jumping in a sea of hurting, just reveling and rolling in it. No, don't do that. When you're a child of God, you don't go and revel in the pig slop. You get up. And you brush yourself off and say, I forgive, I forgive, Lord, and walk in love. Amen. And you'll find, hallelujah, that whatever it was that hurt you will go on about it business. Because the Bible said, vengeance is his, not mine. I don't have to worry about it. I just give it to God. Like Jesse the planter say, Jesus, you got mail. Throw it up and go on about my business. Amen. But see, I didn't know all that then. But now that I am here, and I say, oh, no, uh-uh, sin shall not come now my dwelling. Amen. Hallelujah. No, I'm not perfect. Hallelujah. But guess what? I know how to say, Lord, help. Lord, forgive. Because, yeah, every now and then I'll come out of my mouth, but they make me sick. No, don't do that. Don't do that because you're calling things on you. See, I know. Hallelujah, that your words are alive, and what you say you shall have. Mark 11th chapter tell you that, for you shall have what you say. So don't say, ooh, they make me sick, or they get on my nerve. Don't want to do that. Don't call stuff to you that you don't need, that you don't want. Hallelujah, your words when you're a child of God are alive. But the wages of sin is death. 
but the gift of God is eternal life, but only through Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And we are coming to you tonight with um, GoFundMe. Please go to GoFundMe and um, support Miss um, Natasha Breton. That's my niece. Um, I don't know how many of you know her, but she's, well, you know her now. She's my niece. She calls herself Toddy. Well, her nickname, she'll call herself Toddy. Her nickname is Toddy. The family calls her Toddy. So please go to GoFundMe. She's had her fourth round of chemo, and I'm looking, but they, she haven't posted here lately, and I have not talked to her father, but I know that she's okay. I believe she's getting better because, like I said, I've been through this. My other sister, Melissa, has been through this. And they didn't find Melissa's until she was in stage four. But guess what, y'all? With prayer, praise, and supplication to the Lord, Melissa is fine. She is healed. That mess went in remission or whatever it did. I know she ain't got no cancer no more. Yeah, that's what I said. She ain't got no cancer. In other words, the cancer's not there. She's living. She's doing good. She's raising her family. And I believe the same thing is going to happen to my niece, Toddy. Y'all also pray for my niece, Tia Cook, because she also has cancer. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about Tia. I need to talk to my sister. But when I do, I will bring it to you all so that you all can pray for her also. Now, I'm not sure if she has a GoFundMe or not. I don't think so. But um, I know she had us given to her bank well far ago, but I don't know how that goes because I haven't heard anything from her. But I'm claiming that she is doing just fine because most of the time, no news is good news. I know she's alive because her brother talks to her and so I know she's alive but you know if we've not heard anything then no news is good news amen but please go and support my niece Natasha Breton Toddy is her nickname go to GoFundMe and just put in Tasha Breton you will see it we'll have a link in the description box um, also, and this will be the last week with my announcing is Sneakers for Soldiers. Um, she's on Facebook. We'll have a link to that also. Go talk to Miss Deborah. Um, give her an offering or um, buy some sneakers and send them to her. Amen. They are for our military. They need those things. There are places where they are that we don't know about that don't have sneakers. You got people in some of these countries that don't have sneakers, you know? And we have military over there. Anyway, long story short. Also, um, the uh, last advertisement, because uh, I'm going to have to learn how to do this advertisement after the prayer or something. But anyway, um, Webs by Steph. I got some reports tonight that... Um, People are loving the websites that she has put up. Go to reachingthemassesministry.com and look at that one. Also go to um, thedivasinchrist.com and you will see her work. Um, if you want a website, because they tell me, yeah, <laughs> They were complimenting us so much tonight, and they want to know, who who did your website? I say, my baby girl, Chanda, my youngest daughter. Oh, it's good. It's amazing. I'm saying, okay. I'm like, yeah. So go and, and see. See, I'm getting good reports. And um, if you want a website done, yours doesn't have to be like mine. But uh, she's certified. She's a certified web designer. She's got her certification here. She got it from um, Danville Community College, and um, she's very good at what she does. So if you need a website or if you need a blog post, you want to do a blog post on um, WordPress, then yeah, she can do that too. So go to the email, and we're about to get a phone number, y'all. Amen. Hallelujah. 
told you we keep on growing. God just keep on blessing and blessing and blessing. But um, go to the email, and um, I'm trying to get her to get a web uh, email to her of uh, her own, but she wants it to remain under the church for right now. But go to um, reaching the masses media. No, reaching the masses media ministry at gmail.com and put attention webs by Steph. Amen. And you see the work. Go to those websites that I give you. You won't be sorry. And she will even maintain them after you, she puts them up. You tell her what you want with your colors and whatever wording you want to put there. She can do it. She is gifted at that, y'all. And she's been educated to do it. Like I said, she's certified. We have the certification right here. Hallelujah. So if you want one, just go to the um, email, reaching the masses media ministry at gmail.com, and you can get in contact with her. And soon, like I said, we will have a phone number. But for right now, hallelujah, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. For those of you who belong to Christ, that should comfort you. Amen. But for those of you who don't, that first part should scare you and make you want to run and ask God into your life. Ask him to come into your life and be your savior. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I guarantee you, you will not be sorry. I wasn't, and I don't know anybody who gave their life to Christ and is sorry. So I want you to give your life to Christ today. Hallelujah. He won't do you wrong. He will love on you, bless you, and most of all, he will take you home with him. Because look around you and see what's happening. Hallelujah. It's not good, y'all. It's only going to get worse, according to the Bible. These things we see now are that's just the beginning of sorrows, the Bible say. Come on now. These are just the beginning of sorrow. We haven't looked up and see things that's going to cause our hearts to fail in us. That hasn't came yet. Black moon, red moon, blood moon, worm moon, wolf moon. Yeah, those things are all awesome. But they're not going to cause your heart to stop. But there are things coming in the heaven that's going to cause your heart to stop. The Bible says so. It's going to cause your hearts to fail. Hallelujah. They're going to be so scary. That's if you're not in Christ Jesus. Because when that happens, the church won't be here, y'all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God made a way of escape for us. If you listen to the prayer from last night, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. He made a way of escape for us. And I'm going to see if my daughter can give me that scripture again. Do you have that scripture? The one that I read last night that tells us we have a, a way of escape. Uh, yes, Luke 21, 36. Luke 21, 36. And it reads as thus. Watch ye therefore. Watch ye therefore. And pray always. And pray always. That ye may be accounted worthy. So you may be accounted worthy. To escape all these things. To escape all these things. That shall come to pass. Mm -hmm. That shall to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to, stand the Son of Man. and to stand before the Son of Man. Guess what? If the Son of Man is on his way, like that chapter says, you're not gonna stand before him at that time. But Lord, you know, y'all, let me tell you something. If you read the scripture, there's always a little nugget here in every scripture. People say there is no rapture. Let me tell you something. That particular rapture in Luke. 21, 36, Luke 21, that's tucked in there. That 36 verse, it's like he's encouraging us. It's tucked in there. If you be found worthy, hallelujah, before that time, you're going to have a way of escape. Because that particular verse tells us 
what's going to happen with the people's hearts failing them for fear. And then they say, look up for your redemption, draw us nigh, and say, you're going to see the Son of God coming in the cloud. Guess what? I'm saying, well, that doesn't make any sense because the rapture hasn't occurred. But then, hallelujah, down in the 36th verse, he tells us to be worthy. See, hope, 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 make, make sure that you are found worthy so that you may escape these things that are coming upon this world. So guess what? When those things come, when their hearts are failing them for fear, hallelujah, and all of the rest of the mess where God says it's going to happen, and he said, look up for your redemption, draw us now, we're not going to be here. We won't have to look up. Because we'll be out of here. We'll be in the rapture. And we'll be up in heaven with God. And with Christ, hallelujah, at the Lamb's Supper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At the wedding feast of Jesus. Hallelujah. We won't have to worry about that. But for you who are not saved, I feel sorry for you. Because you don't want to be here when all of that mess happens. I mean, the stuff that's going on now... It's enough to scare the halves on your neck. Make them stand up. Amen. But if you give your life to the Lord, he tells you right there in that 36th verse, make sure that you were found worthy so that you may escape these things. All these things that's coming upon the world, you can escape them if you be found worthy. How do you do that? By giving your life to Christ right now if you haven't. Hallelujah. So that you can escape the things that's coming upon the earth. Amen. If you think it's bad now, keep on waiting. And if the rapture occurs and you hear a whole bunch of people are missing and they've been caught away, oh yeah, I I can tell you the story. And I'm not going to tell you tonight because that's going to be a long one. Like I say, I have a Patreon. I don't have but one article on there, but I'm going to do some stuff. And believe me, you're not going to mm, believe what I know and what I have found out. And it's all in the Bible, y'all. It's every bit of it in the Bible. You just got to search, study, run references, and go on about your business. Because you know God will reveal things to you. The Holy Ghost will reveal things to him. Then you go and you look it up and you say, my God, I never saw that in there. But if you don't belong to Christ tonight, please give your life to him. Because it's only going to get worse. These shootings and all of the rest of the stuff, it's only going to get worse. You don't want to be here during that time. But to those of us who belong to Christ, take heart and fear not. Because not only, hallelujah, are you safe. Because God tells us to fear not. He's talking to the church. Hallelujah. But you also have bodyguards around you. They're called angels. He said he gave his angels, his angels, not the fallen angels, but his angels charge over you. So they will bear you up in their hand. Them some mighty big angels, y'all. If they're going to bear me up in their hand, them some big angels, and they better be strong. Amen. Hallelujah. But listen, they will bear us up in their hands so that we won't even dash our foot against the stone. They will protect us. God has given them to us as our bodyguards because we're royalty. When we belong to Christ, we are royalty. When we are heirs and joint heirs with Christ, we are royalty. We're sealed until the day of redemption. We're redeemed. Hallelujah. We're covered in his glory and his righteousness. We are safe. Hallelujah. And none of this stuff on this earth will because he says, and nothing by any mean harm you. He's talking to his church. He's not talking to the world. He's talking to his church. Amen. So you all who are saved, hallelujah, who belong to Christ, fear not. Have a good night's sleep tonight. Amen. Let the love of God roll, hallelujah, lull you to sleep. Peaceful. Beautiful sleep, hallelujah, knowing that you're covered. My pastor, Pastor Key, and yeah, I'm still a partaker, hallelujah, because I didn't join any other church, even though I'm in a different city. He's still my pastor, and right now, between him and Point, Elder Point Nexter and Elder Stoke, they were my only pastors, hallelujah. But my last church that I joined was Pastor John P. Key. He has a song called, I'm Covered. 
Hallelujah. And that I do know I'm covered under the shadow of the Almighty. I'm quite sure you all have heard that. If not, go on Amazon Music. It's on that Pastor John P. Key, and it's called I'm Covered. Hallelujah. Listen to it. Maybe one day I'll play it during the Sunday morning service. Don't know. Hallelujah. I do what the Lord leads me to do. But if you are His, belong to Christ, then you are covered. So have a good night's sleep. Let us go before the throne of grace. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. And we glorify your name, Father. Lord, we ask you to bless each ear that's listening when this prayer is uploaded, Lord. Hallelujah. We ask you to keep them safe. Hallelujah. I know you will because they're your and Lord. And you told us nothing by any means shall harm us. You ask us who can separate us from the love of God. Hey, not one thing and nobody, whether spiritual or naturally, nothing can separate us from the love of God. Hallelujah. You love us. You protect us. Hallelujah. And you take care of us. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. What thing? Everything our heart desires. Amen. Hallelujah. But Lord, hallelujah, let us know that we must watch our words. Hallelujah. Because you said in Mark 11, for we shall have what we say. Good or bad, we shall have what we say. So teach your children to watch their words. Because their words, because they are alive, because they are the son of a living God, then everything about them are alive, including their words. And they got to be careful with what they say. Hallelujah. Teach them, Lord, that everything that comes in their brain should not come out of their mouth in the name of Jesus. But, Lord, we thank you and we glorify your name. Hallelujah. We ask you to bless the families that's attached to each one that's hearing. Hallelujah. Bless those wayward children, Lord, and let them come home. Send them home, Lord. Hallelujah. And those children who are at home not saved, Lord, let them see mama or daddy or aunt or uncle or grandma living their life, hallelujah. And when they see them live the life, they want to live the life they are doing. And they let them cry out, Lord, what must I do to be saved? Grandma, show me what to do to be saved. Mama, show me what to do to be saved. Daddy, how can I get saved? How can I get what you got, Daddy? Hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. Let them want what you have for them because the world does not understand they're blinded lord hallelujah they have a shield over their faith uh uh uh, uh oh my goodness yes sir hallelujah they don't see that they are walking in danger and don't know it. They don't see that they have no covering. Hallelujah. They might have an entourage, but Lord, you know, people nowadays will kill you and your entourage. Hallelujah. But Lord, they don't understand. But I ask you to give them an understanding of your word. Hallelujah. So that they will give their lives to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <coughs> Excuse me. But Lord, we thank you. And we glorify your name. We ask you to bless everyone on here, their health, their finances, everything they need. Hallelujah. Wayward husbands, send them back home, Lord. Settle their minds down. Let them love their wives. Wayward wives, send them back home, Lord. Settle their minds down and let them love their husbands. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray. In your name, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we glorify your name. We thank you for the peace that I pray over every house that you have said would be over every house to those that belong to you. In the name of Jesus, we pray tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Peace, shalom, shalom, everybody. Hallelujah. If you go to my website, you'll see a... um. PowerPoint up. Is it up yet? Uh -huh. And you will see the PowerPoint up and you will see what shalom means, the many meanings of shalom. No, I'm not. Well, actually, maybe spiritually, yeah. I'm not a, a natural born Jew, but when I found out what the word shalom mean, I began to use it. People look at me a little strange sometimes, you know, <laughs> but it's okay because I'm saying in Hebrew, what Jesus said. He was always talking about peace, but what his word was was shalom. That's Hebrew for peace. 
Hallelujah. Nothing missing, nothing broken. And if you go to the website, reachingthemassesministry.com, you will find her power, my daughter's PowerPoint that she has put up there, and you'll get some more meaning. Also, we have a new um, video up, suggested videos, and um, under the news tab, you'll see some news there, and whatever else is on there. Just enjoy yourself on there. And you can subscribe to that. Um, by subscribing, um, you will get new things that come on. We will notify you of new things that will come on. And um, other things. We're, we're doing more. You know, we're going to have a newsletter eventually. Um, eventually, we're going to have a store. Don't know when we're going to do that. But, hey, it's coming along. And when I do, I will tell you, here we grow again. And we're getting ready to get a number, a telephone number, so that if anyone has a um, re a prayer request or a whatever, well, that's going to be mostly for the business. But anyway, we're getting ready to get a telephone number, and we're going to announce that at some point. So, and we'll tell you what our hours be go are going to be, and believe me, we will not answer if it's not the hours. So don't try to call 2 o'clock in the morning. Amen. Hallelujah. If you want to get in touch with me 2 o'clock in the morning, then you better send me an email. Amen. Hallelujah. I will hear it, or my daughter will hear it, and we will answer. Amen. But this is Reaching the Masses Media Ministry Nightly Prayer, and I have been or am your host, Evangelist Portia MacIver, saying, Peace, Shalom, Shalom. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Good night, y'all. God loves you, so do I.